So who do we have here today? John Kozak. And where, where are you from, John? London, Ontario, Canada. Nice. You got a YouTube channel? Soon. I say nice. You don't have a channel? I thought you had a channel. Yeah. I'll be making it a new, better one. Oh, that's all right. Cool, man. So oh, when you do it, I'll post a link down below, the description for your new channel. Tell us about doing raw food or vegan lifestyle and cycling in the, the Ontario winter. Okay, so... Uh, What's, what, what do you find works for you? You know, I just eat a little bit more, uh, you know, when I'm burning more calories, uh, I find I stay warmer. You know, in the house, I just wear sweatshirt, wear more clothing. Uh, when I'm going outside, you know, I wear more clothing. Uh, specifically for the gear that I wear when I'm cycling, uh, from head to toe, I have a, a balaclava, and uh, it's just a thin, lightweight material, but like it keeps you really warm. Um, then I have just a, a, a cycling jacket for winter, it, uh, made made by uh, Sugoi, and I've had it for three or four years. Works fine, still works. You know, keeps you warm. Uh, I have these pants from Mountain Equipment Co-op. They're uh, like a bomb. Like they're br they're bomb proof. They uh, they don't get wet at all. Uh, keep you warm for cycling. You don't get wet from the slush. Yeah. Uh, I have. These, I don't know what you'd call them. Uh, Booties. Or, go, uh, or, or shoe covers. It's like a galosh or something. Yeah. Just goes on my uh, Shoes. my shoe. Yeah. Just lets the clip still be there. Yes, yes. And, uh, you know, I've ridden these in like a torrential downpour and my socks didn't get wet at all. Uh, they keep me warm in the winter. I just wear the same, like a same sock. I don't wear a super thick sock. Yeah. If it was really cold, wear thicker socks, more socks. Uh, you just dress for the weather. When you're cycling in the winter, it's cold at first, but then you build up the body heat. Uh, my gloves, I wear like crab claw gloves. Yeah, the lobster mitt. Yeah. yeah. And uh, when it's really cold, I wear a second pair of gloves inside. So like a five finger yeah. inside the crab claw. Uh, you probably are going to need like two pairs of gloves because if you go from A to B then they're going to be wet for when you go from B to A and it's, you're going to have cold hands there but yeah. uh, as long as you have like two pairs of gloves you're fine uh, maybe some extra shirts you want to keep, keep moving your fingers yep. when you're biking and uh, yeah I just uh, I kind of conquer the winter and uh, yeah. go out I ride I ride in any weather it doesn't matter you don't, don't let it stop you cool and uh, so I like what you said the other day about you find the winter a challenge like it's like a you just, it's like a competition yeah. between yeah, you and winter. Yeah, you just got You can't. You can't let it be. You got to go out and conquer it. You know, it'd be nice to live somewhere that's warm year-round, but uh, currently that's not where I'm living. So when it's cold out, you know, I go out. Right? I've got to. I've got to go places. So I. I hop on my bike and uh, I go. Uh, I don't ride my bamboo bike in the winter. I just. I ride my old bike and kind of yeah. trash it. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, so just. just you see it as a challenge versus yeah, a, yeah. yeah nice, an adventure. I, I just recently started using like uh, studded tires, wow. little metal spikes. And, uh, <laughs> it's hardcore, man. That's hardcore. Cool. Oh, thanks for your tips, man. Alrighty. Thanks for your tips, John. Appreciate your help.